Well, it is mid-November and uh, well, it's the Christmas season. So whether you hate Christmas, like Christmas, or it's your favorite time of year, what isn't up for debate is the amount of gift giving that happens right around now. Well, as somebody who loves rocks, minerals, rock hounding, lapidary, all of those things, um, I have an assortment of things here that I genuinely love. These are items that truly matter, that I cherish. And I think they would make excellent gifts for the people in your life, like myself, um, who love rocks and minerals, lapidary, goes out on adventures, collecting rocks, fun in the shop. Maybe you just have a big collection like uh, I have back there. I have things out here on my bench, which range from 10 bucks to 300 bucks. So in that range, there's probably something for everybody. And uh, I will put links down below this video to all of this stuff. Some of these will be affiliate links, some will not. And uh, some won't also be the cheapest. So take the list, go do some price comparison. Some of this stuff is actually going to be more affordable for you to buy locally. So with that said, let's jump right into it. Let's look at some different things. I'll explain to you why I think they're good. And I'll do it quickly. The 10X Jewelers Loop, a triplet. These are awesome for inspecting rocks. You can look, if you're a lapidary, you can use these to inspect polished stones for scratches. If you're into minerals, looking at those little tiny bugs, it's awesome. As well, you can hold this in front of the lens of your cell phone and take some better photos, more magnification. It's a handy little object. They range in price, you know, uh, 10 to 30 bucks, depending on how high of a quality one you want to get. And it's nice to have a couple of them. So I uh, highly recommend the 10X Jewelers Loop. Tools. Tools are a critical aspect of going out and field collecting, you know. And most people, most rock hounds, have one of these. This is the Estwing rock hammer, right? We have a hammering end, we have a prying end, and uh, the, the rock hound in your life probably has one of these. What they don't probably have is this one. Now this one has a significantly bigger strike face on the hammer end which is very nice when it comes to hammering chisels in. And uh, speaking of chisels, I'm gonna make the recommendation here of my favorite chisel. And this is a chisel you should find locally, all right? This is the Stanley Fat Max inch and a quarter masonry flat bar chisel. They range between six and 10 bucks, depending on where you wanna get them. And your local hardware store is where you wanna get these. And really two, two is a nice thing. You know, um, you can double wedge, very useful chisel. It's usually my, my go-to and I've had a lot of chisels. However, sometimes the rock hammer is not enough. And that's when this guy comes in, the three pound hand sledge. Not a four pound, not a long handle, no wood, no fiberglass, that classic blue rubber S-wing handle, right? It doesn't transfer that energy into your elbow, and you can swing this thing all day. It is an amazing tool. One more tool, I guess technically two more tools. The Estwing Gad. We have a little end that can be hammered into rocks here and pried. We have a pointy end. These things combined, you can double wedge, right? There's a lot that can be done with this. Very lightweight, I-beam construction. Great for a backpack when you don't want to carry a ton of tools with you. Now, here's the thing. If you're giving these as a gift, you have to buy something for yourself. As we know, the best gifts are gifts that you make. Obviously, you're not making something here. You're buying something. But the next best thing is personalizing that gift. This right here is the Dremel engraving tool with the diamond bit. You're going to take this, you're going to buy this, you're going to practice with this. I don't know, go engrave your name into your lawnmower or something. You're going to practice with it, and then you're going to engrave something nice onto one of these tools. A heart, a, uh, a, a, an I love you message, something to that effect. And now you have a thoughtful 
personalized tool that you can give to somebody that they will cherish. And you can, you know, I don't know, make sure your stuff doesn't get lost. Go put your name on some things. <laughs> well, that's my selection for tools. Not everybody's a rock hound, though. Some people uh, um, want to do more lapidary work. Things like that. And that's when this right here, what you're seeing right here on me, this is, without a doubt, the very best apron. I've tried a lot of aprons. This is the Lapidary's apron from Kingsley North. It is fabulous. I love it. It's got awesome pockets. It's got the wide shoulder straps up top. It is brass, leather, and waxed canvas, or a duct, waxed ducting material. It is excellent. I would highly recommend if somebody is making cabochons, cutting rocks, to both wear an apron and wear this apron. It's really, really good. Being that it's winter time, well, hanging out and reading a couple of books can be a very, very nice thing. And if they are a field collector, uh, field collecting gemstones and minerals by Johnson Canis is the guide to field collecting rocks and minerals. It's an older book. It's been through a number of reprints and uh, it is excellent. It's a timeless piece of literature in the rock hounding world. And uh, I would recommend this be uh, dropped into that stocking. For the lapidary, the gem cutting shop helps hand selected uh, articles from 17 years of the lapidary journal. You don't have to be a big reader for this one, everybody which is, you know, not, it's not for everyone. A lot of the articles in this, they're a page, page and a half, a couple of pages, and they are timeless. Timeless things that you can flip through and enjoy, get some uh, inspiration without buying 17 years of lapidary journal. Maybe you're not a, you don't have that field collector needing the tools. Maybe they're not so much of a lapidary. Well, these two lights right here, I have in this hand about a $20 filtered 365 nanometer UV light. Here's a bigger one that's about 80 bucks. Both are excellent lights. These are cool for re-exploring your collection. Now you don't have to buy these lights, but you do want to make sure that it is 365 nanometer for long wave UV light and it is filtered, filtered. You're going to see a lot of things out there that are uh, more affordable that are on filtered and that will have a lot of purple, bright blue light. And it will not be super cool uh, to explore your rocks and minerals like you're seeing right here. It allows you to re-engage with some of your collection if they don't have a UV light. Highly recommend them. This right here is a digital microscope and one that's not junk. There's a lot of cheap, junky digital microscopes in this world. However, this Link Micro is not one of them. We've uh, reviewed this in a separate video, which you can go check out. And uh, this is an exceptionally cool tool for looking at neat things. And it records to an SD card with a remote and you can look at stuff like this piece of dinosaur bone right here under under it. We can inspect slabs, cabs, scratches, as well as smaller minerals. It is a view into a whole other world. It's something that you can share with other people and be like, this is why this hobby is cool. You can look at these things that otherwise would be invisible to the naked eye. This is without a doubt the most expensive thing on the list. And it's one tool that I hope to never use. This right here is the ACR personal locator beacon. I carry this every time we go out on an adventure. It is without, it's with it, in my opinion, it is the best beacon out there. Some beacons you have to pay a subscription fee for. You have some two-way communication satellite texting thing. That's not nice to give somebody the gift of a subscription. This, however, you pay once for it. And the battery is good for five years. You can send it in and get a new battery. 
What, what this does is we have a, uh, well, it's a personal locator beacon. It's dust proof, waterproof, it floats, okay? You open this thing up, pop the antenna, hit the be beacon button, it'll start sending out a signal to satellites. There's a satellite rotating, satellite array over the earth that connects, sends a message to a uh, search and rescue team database. They look up your info, they send somebody to get you. That's it. It is, uh, it might be the most important piece of gear for the adventurer out there. It's something that I think you should have if you're heading out into the backcountry. And it's also something that uh, you hope to never use, but if you do, well, it's gonna be great. They're either gonna be uh, saving your life they're going to be showing up in a helicopter, showing up on foot, or they're going to be bringing the corpse home. Any way you spin it, personal locator beacon in the backcountry is critical. Well, that about covers it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found something that would work well for you, that you could get for the loved one in your life. I'm very happy with all of these objects. I own all of them, clearly. They're the things that give me the fizz that I enjoy. Well, we'll leave this one here. Check out all the links down below. And uh, if you're looking for a free gift to give somebody that's into rocks and minerals, you take their phone, you open up their YouTube app, you go to the Currently Rock Hounding channel and uh, hit the subscribe button for them. And uh, with that said, hope you guys uh, have a fabulous day.